Okay, so uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, if you take a look at the uh, Conduit uh, original website like the, on the demo.realworld.io uh, and in this website, uh, you'll see that, uh, that you know, by default only the uh, sign in and the sign up links are there and the home link is there. Uh, when I click on sign in, I uh, actually, uh, you know, put my credentials uh, up here, right? And uh, that's when uh, there's like this uh, new set of tags come in. There's new article settings and my username, which takes me to my username page, uh, stuff like that. Now, uh, that's, uh, I, I want the same functionality on my website. So I'll do something like this. Um, what we'll do is, uh, you know, um, so I've already have kind of done that. So I'll just uh, show you. Uh, we, we will go to uh, first of all the users module and we will add uh, a getter for the username. So uh, getters are basically uh, a way to fetch data from the state. And if the data in the state changes, the getters automatically update that data. Okay, so it's uh, like computed data fetching. If you look at the uh, Vuex documentation, there is information about getters. Uh, sometimes we need to compute derived state based on stored state. Okay, so if you want to like filter stuff and do something like this, uh, what we do here is uh, we'll create a username getter which checks if state dot user exists and then it returns state dot user dot username or otherwise it returns null. Okay, so I get null if there is no user. If there's a user, I get the username. Okay, uh, then going forward uh, in my nav bar. In my navbar, what I do is I create a computed property. I create a computed property called username, which fetches this dot store dot getters user slash username. So it gets the value from this getter. So I will get null here if uh, the user does not exist, and I will get like a username if it does exist. Uh, what I'm going to do here is in all of these links. So I got this first of all the home link, which is fine. I've got this new post link and the new post link what I want to do is I'll uh, put a uh, v4 here uh, v if v if username so if the username exists then only we will show this uh, if uh, similarly if the uh, username exists then only we will show the settings page um, if username is null then we will show sign in and if username is null we will show sign up and then again if username exists in that case, we will show the username link. Now, this is dynamic data because here is settings is a string that we know from before. But when I'm logged in, I want to show, you know, uh, my username. So this is a string that I don't know from beforehand. So I'll have to like use the username object from the computed property that I have here. Okay. Um, what else we want is that uh, we will... Uh, uh, route that person to add the rate slash username because if you take a look at what's how it's happening here is that if I, I you know click on uh, the champion swimmer uh, uh, link here I end at this URL slash add the rate champion swimmer so I want to take the user back to uh, this place add the rate slash champion swimmer okay um, Uh, let's just see how uh, this works out. Uh, let me just, uh, you know, serve. Okay, uh, so. I mean, I'm not logged in. In that state, if I, uh, you know, click on the sign in link, uh, I get here. If I like add championswimmer at gmail.com, which is my login, I uh, try to log in now. But I, as soon as I log in, ah, now you see it changes. Like the sign in and the sign up pages are gone. And uh, now I have uh, like uh, the home new post settings in the champion swimmer link out here. So this way you can like depending on the state of the user object, we can change how the Napa looks like. So it should show uh, uh, the the new post in the settings stuff when somebody's logged in and should sign in and sign up when somebody's uh, logged out.